Wow, what a horrific scene, Mandy. I hope it doesn't take those kids too long to clean up all that blood. What an inspirational story. Uh, you're watching BNN, Broken News Network, and coming up next, we have some breaking news. We're going live to the field with reporter Danny, who's going to tell you about a story that's quite nuts. Take it away, Danny. Oh, uh, so, Ian, I'd really like to know more about your conservation efforts and what you've done up to this point to preserve the squirrel population. Oh, yeah, well, I could talk all day about that. I think if we all get a little closer to nature, uh -huh. not each other, uh -huh. we might actually uh, come to understand it a little bit better. Uh -huh. And maybe understand a little bit more about ourselves. Yeah. I'm standing here with local man Ian. Hello. Wow, what a nice young man, Danny. So what kind of story do you have for us today? Ian is really interested in conserving the squirrel population. It means a lot to him. We're here to protect squirrels, save them, and relocate them. I think it's important that we start treating the squirrels with a little bit more respect here. What kind of mean things are people doing to the squirrels? What are people doing to the squirrels? They're feeding the squirrels. Bread, all sorts of starches, it fattens them up. Mm -hmm. It's not nutritious. I give them, sometimes I'll just pull out a little cheese and crackers, give it to the squirrel uh, right off the bat. Um, is this not good for the squirrels? Everyone out there, if you want to breed a healthy population of squirrels, you're going to want to feed them frozen cut up grapes. No cheese and crackers. Fantastic story. Coming up next, an extremely awkward transition. So what exactly is the problem we're trying to solve today? Well, I have a program on my show called Save the Squirrels Initiative. Mm -hmm. The point of the initiative is to save the squirrels. He's super fat. I don't know what he's been eating. Look at those talons. My biggest problem is the squirrels in my area hate people. I hope you're ready for freedom. But they don't need to be afraid of me. I only relocate them. I don't do any of the bad stuff. But you, they are afraid of you because of other people. Yeah. They're profiling. The old man who You've goes been out, profiled. <laughs> the old white man who goes out on right. his property with his big gut hanging out. Wait, we're talking about you? No, no. Okay. Those are my neighbors. He looks very similar to me when I go out there in my box. This is an actual person? Yes. I don't think they can distinguish too well between us. I can kind of peek around corners and see them, but as soon as like any more than a sliver of my eye... Is it actually that? Yes. Immediately. That's why I have to use the trail cams. I need something a little bit easier. So we can go to the squirrels and they're not afraid of it. And they're not afraid. Maybe like some sort of National Geographic car with a squirrel on top, like the squirrel's mobile. We get an RC car, a remote control car, and okay. build a fake rock over it. We can make it kind of like a battle bot where the rock <laughs> comes up and the saw blade underneath. <laughs> we train the neighbor to be afraid of the squirrels. Just like shoot spit at the neighbor. Okay, back on track. <laughs> The rock is a palatable idea. Right. I think I can live with that. So this is a car base we're gonna use. Yesterday I machined these brackets for it on the CNC router. Cameraman John, do you want to go build the rock for this? Ian and I will compile information of what the rock should look like to blend in with the environment. Go team! I mean, what about something like this? No, that's not, that's not quite right. Just like Southern California rock. What address? What's the address? Um. This rock is actually called potato chip rock. Yeah, like I a, think like kind of like that. Like a granite countertop? Yeah, kind of really? granite. Yeah. Oh, thank you, cameraman John. Let's bring what the. Is it? This stuff was it? Just it's cellu clay. So we need to paint it like a rock. Have you ever painted anything? Oh yeah, no, I can do this. Oh, okay. I actually have this. Okay, all right, yeah. perfect. We're gonna mix the black and the white. Okay. Oh wow. It's 2019 guys. Too much white or too much uh, black? Uh, Choose your words wisely. Too much black, more white. Are you a fan of Curbs the Cowardly Dog? 
Elf. Yeah, it was, yeah. It's kind of terrified me as a kid, yeah, though. Remember that episode where, like, they get turned into babies? Courage has to, like, make her macaroni and cheese. I... And she's like, yes, like more macaroni. What kind of painting experience do you have? So I did sell a painting, a very abstract painting, when I was uh, a young entrepreneur. I sold it on eBay for $10. Dang, man, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. With, with yeah. shipping or without shipping? Uh, without shipping. I okay. With shipping, it was like 15. What were you gonna do before YouTube? Are we, is this like... When I played World of Warcraft, I had a Russian friend named Oleg. He was an electrician's apprentice. And I just thought that was the funniest thing to be an electrician's apprentice because he was that for like three years. And I was like, at what point are you going to be an electrician? <laughs> so basically anything you find on the internet about Ian, you can't trust. <laughs> that looks like a rock that's been splattered with paint. Oh, I have an idea. We could take like this, the Han Solo carbonite sound effects and did we do that? No, it was just me making weird noises. Okay, cool. Should we see what it looks like with a squirrel on top? Yeah. Well. Excuse us. It's just a little small. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Michael. How do we lead into the fact that we bought a taxidermy squirrel on eBay? <laughs> That's what we want to use. Or did I just do it? <laughs> you may have done it. Or we have our third squirrel option. <laughs> 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 Who is calling you? This squirrel was ethically sourced. That's, some, what, that's what the yeah. seller said. Yeah. It, it was a. This squirrel was ethically sourced. Like it, that's it, it died that's of it. natural causes. No, 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 <laughs> no. The squirrel, whatever's in here, was ethically sourced. Does this count as recycling or upcycling? This sounds so. You're saying this, and it's got like a fat eBay logo on the front of the box. I have this fear that it's alive and it's gonna bite me. Oh my god! Wait. It doesn't even look that weird. I'm kind of disappointed it wasn't in like a Best Buy bag or something. <laughs> this is the most insane thing. <laughs> oh my god. Too much power. Look at his head, you know where its mouth is. The guy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his tail, it's like tink, tink, tink. The next step is to, uh... Oh, my William! The robotic squirrel playing mating sounds out of its Bluetooth speaker. Soon you will be free to roam, but first... It's not every day we do some real science on the William Osmond channel. The fog is rolling in, which is perfect for the creepy atmosphere we want for the squirrel car. Uh, what are we doing? Did I say science? Yeah, it's science. Science and horror. They're combining right now. Can we talk about the definition of science really quick? What did Adam Savage say? As long as you write it down, it's science. As long as you write it down, it's science. Someone get a notepad. I have the uh, remote for the car, so I'll be driving the car around. I'll be controlling the squirrel's movement and the squirrel's sound. Should we take a look under the hood? Let's take a look under the hood. <laughs> under the hood, we've got a piece of plywood glued to the cardboard shell with a battery pack, RC receiver, and servo motor. The servo motor is connected with a paper clip to this piece of wood that the squirrel is zip tied to. You know, I like zip ties a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Because like, what are you going to do? Screw or glue the squirrel down? Like, The car has a GoPro and Bluetooth speaker attached. Otherwise, it's just like a completely stock RC car. And You can make this at home. You can substitute the uh, squirrel for any sort of... I think we spent like $300 on this. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> Was it? Yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> Let's put the hood back on and deliver the bait and female squirrel in heat. I, I see like three or four over there. Oh God, we should have picked the more expensive car. Now that we're sand trapped, the plan is I'm going to play the sounds, okay. the squirrel in heat sounds and uh, we're gonna do some movement. All right, I don't see anything quite yet. There's a little bit of movement, but I'm pretty sure it's definitely just the wind. 
Oh, we're standing right in the same line of smell. Is that, did we just invent a new science term? I told you we do science here. Line of smell, that's a thing. We gotta write it down first. <laughs> I wish we could get closer, but the problem is we're really stuck in the sand. Yeah. Right. I'm just gonna pick it up. Perfect. You're a beacon with right. that lab coat on. Yeah, they know science is happening and yeah. they're trying to stay away. All right, here we go. We're doing the call. You notice how like the cattails look exactly like the squirrel tail? Like it blends in with the plants. We're in the right biome. <laughs> right. We're gonna have to get desperate. <laughs> this is the way, what were we playing before? <laughs> we were like seeing squirrels literally. I know. Like, and now they're, they're just gone. Yeah. It's too cold. They're in the squirrel holes and a squirrel in heat and a pile of peanuts is not enough to bring them out. Even the aggressive one with the big... <sighs> Okay. All right, another well, day. As quickly as they had appeared, the squirrels had vanished into their burrows for the night and escaped from this cold gloom. However, many creatures still lingered above ground, ignorant to the heartless mechanical squirrel android robot with wheels terrorizing the park. <laughs> Oh, squirrel, squirrel, actual squirrel. By the Wait, way, where, 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 where? By, okay, so there's two trees on the left. Actual squirrel, you see it? There's like six trees, Michael. So the two trees on the left, that's why I said to the left. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> well, um... Yeah. Just come back tomorrow. After a night of rest, our heroes were in high hopes ready to film squirrels in the wild. I don't, I don't know. Do you think they know it's a dead squirrel? Just like think about what we're doing like in a human perspective. Like we've taken a, a human, <laughs> killed them and stuffed them and we've like propped them up in a chair and, and played like mating rocking. calls. And they're just like rocking around like a board in a rocking chair, <laughs> screaming up mating Please calls. Please me. <laughs> Please <laughs> <f> <laughs> It doesn't seem to be working. I can't imagine why. We need like some uh, some squirrel urine, like something or something to like give it an appropriate scent, because maybe there's something about it smelling weird. That I think it's I think it's more a problem with us and not the squirrel. Okay. Like we're like overzealous. Well, I mean, again, you're you're wanting to put urine on the squirrel. What? Like we're already trying. Like we've we've literally given it like maybe three minutes mm -hmm. of just like. It's a very there. valid point. Yeah. What we've noticed is the instant we show up with the car, all the squirrels we've seen immediately leave. I accidentally just played some sort of Amazon review of the squirrel product. <laughs> hey folks, review to make review face here. Today we're calling some squirrels. No, I we we put food out. That ain't working. These squirrels are just not single and ready to mingle. New plan is you see that one right behind you? Yeah. We're gonna and drive it at full speed. Alright, dun 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 dun. <laughs> we, we, we seem to be scaring the squirrels away, so we figured we might as well scare the yoga people away too. <laughs> I wish I knew how to reverse it. Double, I'm, double I'm, back, double back. I know, I'm stuck. Are you? <laughs> the apex predator is, I think, assessing the situation. What we're about to see is a final standoff against the apex predator in what's basically a wild gerbil. It's just munching away on some nuts. And the apex predator, not fast enough. Unfortunately, another day without a meal. Okay, folks, we weren't successful, and uh, we've tried a lot of different things and we're sad. The goal was to at least attract squirrels to the card, and I think what we've done is exactly the opposite. Maybe we should talk to someone who has more experience dealing with like captive squirrels who understands the behavior a little better. I don't know, I thought I was a lot more educated on this topic than I actually am. I've received so many tweets saying, man, you're so smart, mm. you're so hyper smart, you know so much about squirrels. Did it kind of feel like a knockdown? Yeah, I'm a bit humbled. I do have squirrels at my house, okay. as you know, uh -huh. and with no people around, put up the trail cam and see if there is an actual genuine reaction right. from the squirrels to it. Uh, you're gonna finish that? No, I'm not gonna finish that. It's 
Said he wasn't gonna finish the pie, so we can split the pie. Oh, excellent.